Look at what he's been doing. He's been standing up and grabbing all the little pieces of leaves here, but he's been hitting this tree like crazy. The tree has really just split right there. It, it looks absolutely horrible. Nutella actually looks like she might be pregnant again. I'm not 100% sure. Peanuts over there and Rita somewhere in the tall grass somewhere. Right into the action, we have a situation inside of the deer area. Last night and in the last couple days, everybody in South Florida was hit with a really big a thunderstorm a lot a lot of rain a lot of flooding and crazy light show light show meaning a lot of lightning and a lot of thunder oh and uh welcome back to blake exotic cannon ranch it doesn't stop here at the ranch we got a chainsaw in our hand an electric one and we have storms rolling in again right now as you can see but unfortunately last night a tree went down inside of the deer section and i'll show you this tree right now I don't know if it was the wind from being top heavy or if lightning might have hit in the tree. It's happened here before. It's happened to my building. It's happened to my truck. It's happened to an avocado tree, completely turned black. I don't think this tree got hit by lightning, but you guys be the, the ones to let me know what you guys think. If it just split down the middle or what happened to it. Uh, I know we're gonna have probably people that are tree people say you're cutting it wrong, but I don't think there's any other way to save this tree without just cutting it pretty much in half. And you'll see why now. Woodpecker just popped up. But the tree has completely split in half. The deers are all inside of it and check it out. The tree has really just split right there. It, it looks absolutely horrible. There's some branches in the lower spot, but we're gonna have to trim this whole entire thing down and work it back up. This tree was absolutely beautiful. It was such a cool tree and it sucks that it split down the middle like that, but yeah, it really freaking blows. So let's just start trimming and cutting it all up. Throw a time lapse up. One tooth bandit over here. The storm is still rolling in. We got a bunch of the greens put right there. You can see it's starting to build up. Kenya said it's gonna rain in the next hour. So we're gonna finish this thing up. Let me go flip the camera and show you what the tree looks like. It's embarrassing what the tree looks like now. But unfortunately, <laughs> Gosh, is hilarious. The deers have been going around browsing like crazy. And Nutella actually looks like she might be pregnant again. I'm not 100% sure. Peanuts over there. And Rita, somewhere in the tall grass somewhere. Uh, but as you see, it looks pretty freaking ugly. Put it down in the comments, tree people. Is it okay for me to leave the tree split like that? Or is it going to get infected? Because if so, I might have to do a clean cut this far down low. And I really don't want to do that. But what do you guys think? I'm going to trim it a little bit more on the sides so we're good. It's going to be back into a ball. Oh, uh, this area is going to get a lot more sun now. So it's probably going to regrow the grass. I'm going to throw some seed in here so that there's more seed. I'm going to go buy a nice mixed uh, type of seed so the beautiful deers have some more browsing types. I'm probably going to clear this all out as well. This is just weeds. This is literally just weeds. But I left it here because if you look closely, Peanut really goes around and hits his horns up against it because he needs spots to rip up and down. Uh, that tree we covered that tree we covered this one we did not but look at the tree that we didn't cover and look what happened nutella or nutella oh rita there you are what are you doing girl what are you hiding over there look at this tree real tall grass but they absolutely love to bed down on it look at what he's been doing he's been standing up and grabbing all the little pieces of leaves here but he's been hitting this tree like crazy and we're gonna have to uh wrap this up because if not he could actually destroy it eventually and we really like this tree a lot. It's a great tree for birds to nest in, as you can see. And for the future, when this becomes an aviary, it'll be a great, great, great enclosure for all types of cool Asian species of birds. And we're gonna extend it next year as well. Would be really, really cool. Cash is still listening. Gizzy boy. Before we go and do what we're gonna do to fix this tree, we started with a little bit of dirt inside of here and a little bit of rock. So what I'm doing right now is just adding a bunch of this field gravel on the bottom. I got to do the rest of it. I bought like 20, 30 bags and obviously that was not enough whatsoever. So we're going to have to get a lot more rock all the way across and make this all dirt and rock. That's what I wanted to do in this section. 
just keeps it a little clean a little cooler for the deers to have an area to cool down when it's hot and as you guys see where the tree was before it was all shade but now they lost all that shade because the tree obviously uh broke and we had to cut it back but that's all right it's gonna grow back and become a lot more shade it is very hot here in south florida and the more shade for these guys it's better because where they come from it's very very jungly and thick so that's the reason why i need to have as much shade as possible and they have their whole shelter right here they have a two-sided shelter the top and the back to stay away from the elements if they wanted to in the wild they don't have that kind of stuff that you know they're in the rain they huddle down in the bush and the grasses and all that even the baby would like to just rather stay inside the tall grass than be over here in the hiding area but that is all right now back 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 in the day i wanted to put them in have a door so they could go inside the building but decided not to do that because that's where all of our incubators are at now and it's going to stay that way but enough talking let's head to the street and show you what we're going to do so it's the next day it's the next morning I gave my buddy a call who's a landscaper and animal keeper. He's very, very good at doing all different types of landscaping stuff. And he actually does a lot of bonsai as well. So, came over here, I sent up a picture of what this tree looks like, and he said you can do two things. One, you can tape up the top in the bottom and in the middle, and it will bond back together. Or two, you can literally drill it back together. He said, but the tape, you would have to take the tape off, but with the screws, you screw it together, and the tree would just eat through the screws eventually, and it'll just rot away and go bye-bye. If you guys look really closely right now on that middle tree, there's actually a big Cuban anole on top of there. If you guys can zoom in, look at that big guy. Real cool animal. He actually eats the other brown anoles that live out here too. Bunch of different types of species of lizards that live here on the ranch, which everybody has to coexist. A lot of people, and I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but a lot of people hate all the invasive animals and all the invasive stuff. But then at the end of the day, we're invasive too. And we're messing up all the native ecosystems as well. So if we don't learn to work and live around the invasive animals, go live in, Antarctica or something. So let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna start screwing to this side over here and see if I can get a nice middle one right through the middle. You're gonna have to hold it together. I know. No, we got right here. All right, nice one, perfect. We gotta get it a lot tighter though. Can we go all the way through? Do it from the other angle. Yep, you're actually right. That's what he actually said to do. Go from one side to the other side. So smart, Sandy. I know. This tree has so many black ants, it is insane. All right, we're gonna go a little higher up. Hopefully this will just bow it together that much more. What do you think? Right here? Yeah. Oh, that worked. Yep, got it real close. Look how smart. Oh, it's as close as I think it's gonna get. I don't have any more screws. I might put one or two more inside of there. But you guys see the gist and see what I'm doing right here. We're getting it back together. The tree is still alive, still great. It is very, very healthy. I'm hoping nothing happens there and it just starts sprouting nice. So pretty much what happened, most likely, it wasn't a lightning strike. I thought it over. It would have been a black mark or anything like that. Uh, you guys are going to be, oh, clickbait, blah, blah, blah. But got to get you guys on the video somehow to give these videos a thumbs up. We just got to make sure we keep the top a little not so heavy so that when these big windstorms come, the leaves get so wet, so heavy, they drop down, they droop. And that's the reason why it's split in the middle. So we'll just make sure we keep it nice and trim and good and make it into a nice mushroom about yay high. Because what we're going to do here is the same thing that we did in the otter area is we're going to come out with these metal poles right to about here, come out, go up. I would say probably around five to 10 feet, or maybe go straight up, go real high, go up maybe 10 foot right there, and then come out because I wanna to get to the top of those poles. So all those trees have to get cut back to the top of that other pole there because we're gonna have this aviary around, I would say 20 to 25 feet tall, which would be really cool. And we're not gonna make it out of net this time, we're gonna make it out of metal. And it's gonna be like a giant birdcage. So hopefully we can put some small hook bills inside here instead of just straight soft bills, which would be really cool. And on top of, our uh, doves and all the cool things. Put it down in the comments, what species of animals you guys would like to see inside of here in the future, not including our already our munjack that live in here. Don't know if I'm putting reptiles in here, really don't think so. I think it's really gonna just be the mammals with the deers and then our different types of birds of some sort and probably put another, that whole section over there, we have trees that's gonna, it's gonna get pushed out over there too. So it's gonna open up another, 22 by another 15 feet wide so they're gonna have that much more space and it's gonna be really really cool especially if nutella has another fawn 
in the upcoming month. I think she's gonna have another baby in about a month or so. But you can see her belly's starting to get a little bit bigger. Or maybe she's just getting fat. Who freaking knows? But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake Exotic Animal Ranch. Tell me what you guys wanna see next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Give this video a thumbs up and have a good day, you guys. Peace out, everybody.